Dublin's first Leinster hurling final team for nearly two decades shows leading point scorer Alan McCrabb named in midfield. Season campaigner Liam Ryan returns from injury to play at centre half forward, while Joey Boland continues at number six in the absence of the injured Ronan Fallon. However, the shape of the team may very well alter with an extra player used in defence. A ploy which is unlikely to seriously throw this Kilkenny side, showing just one change from the team that saw off Galway in their semi final. Derek Ling starts his first match since last last year's All-Ireland final and replaces the team captain Michael Fennelly in midfield, Henry Shefflin takes over as skipper. <laughs> Referee Johnny Ryan from Tipperary starting the 114th Leinster hurling final, it's Dublin who won the toss, playing with the wind in the first half, then from right to left, good block down there by Tommy Welch immediately, straight to Owen Larkin, launching the first Kilkenny attack inside there towards the inside line. Coming away with it here is Oshin Goff. Out as far as Joey Boland, the centre half back, using the wind, dropping it in there towards the inside line again. John Dalton here. Alan McCrabb, by the way, has gone to uh, top of the left in a switch there. Shane Durkin switched in towards midfield. Meanwhile, Niall Corcoran trying to win his battle there along with Joey Boland. Boland getting it away, but only out into the middle of the park and waiting for it there. An unmarked Kilkenny man who puts it over the bar. Very good start there as Michael Rice gets the opening point of the match. 50 seconds gone. Well, that was a result of a poor clearance out as far as the Carrick shock player, straight over the bar. Coverford takes it, goes back to make a bit more space for himself. Towards Aidan Fogarty, hasn't seen any of the action so far. He has now. Lovely little hand pass, beautiful opportunity here, and that's over the bar. Great opportunity for Derek Ling coming through, and the man from Emeralds gets his first, and it's four points to one. Taken beautifully here in his stride by Tommy Welch, but again, not a great clearance. Kevin Flynn back in again, looks up to see where David O'Callaghan is. In possession right now, trying to make some inroads. Liam Ryan now trying to get away from John Tennyson, succeeds, has a man inside, hand passes it in, and that's over the bar. Good score, it's four points to three, and David Tracy gets his first of the afternoon. Really good work by Dublin and by Liam Ryan in particular here. Once he made those inroads in past that Kilkenny half back line, prepared to run at the Kilkenny backs into Tracy, good score by the Kuala man. 15 minutes are gone, and so far so good for Dublin, as John Dalton plays that one in there towards Eddie Brennan, catches it brilliantly, releases it to a support player, it was Richie Power, and Richie Power looking for something from the referee, and runs on there, Comerford's here, and Comerford in the corner of the net. Just when you think you've come to terms with the uh, Kilkenny powerhouse, Martin Comerford comes in with the first goal of the game, after 16 minutes of play, something which Dublin should have dealt with but failed to do so, and Martin Comerford uses the boot and into the corner of Gary Maguire's net. Henry Shefflin back as far as Michael Kavanagh, across diagonally to Owen Larkin, and suddenly Larkin's away, looks over his shoulder to see where the man was, nowhere near him, has a go, and he puts it over the bar, it's his first of the day. Really good play by Kilkenny. There was a nice calmness, a nice assurance about that attack. And it is 1-6 to four points. Thundering into this one was Kevin Flynn. Back to defend is Tommy Welsh. Johnny McCaffrey now, oh, he's dropped it, and dropped it to Richie Power. Nice, cleverly forward here as far as Martin Comerford, and Martin Comerford fires it over the bar. And he's now got a goal and two points in this Leinster hurling final. Well, there was a breakdown in communications here, really, and Johnny McCaffrey, not sure what he heard, but he should have cut that one out, failed to do so. Alan McCrabb now trying to push forward here, ball still in play. Linking up with Liam Rush. Back it goes even further to Kevin Flynn, they need to have a go. Kevin Flynn has a shot, and Kevin Flynn puts it over the bar. Nice point by Kevin Flynn of Dublin. Forward there by Johnny McCaffrey, who now seems to be centre half back once again. Forward beautifully here as far as 
David Tracy, and that's over the bar. Two in a row for Dublin. A second for David Tracy. And now it's a four-point game, just as it was at one stage during the first half. Tracy doing really, really well, just 19 years of age. Now the Kilkenny response. Suddenly they will switch it on again, you feel. And Martin Comerford fires this one in and fires it over the bar. Got a goal and three in the first half, so another now for Martin Comerford in the third minute of the second half. Swept across to Henry Shefflin, dispossessed well by Michael Carton. Couldn't do enough with it, however. And Tommy Walsh tucks it on. The Tullerone player, let's fly. And that is a sensational point by Tommy Welch. First of the match for Tommy Welch, extending the lead out to five points once again. 114 to 12 points. Good contest now. Niall Corcoran, huge one down the field there towards David O'Callaghan, who's discarded the black helmet. Doxie O'Callaghan looking for a score. That's going to the goalkeeper, however, PJ Ryan. And David O'Callaghan has yet to score in this game. Big one down, one-handed out by Michael Carton. Collected once again and put over the bar. Well, that has been the nature of this Kilkenny team over the last five or six years. Anytime they get into difficulty, suddenly they can just respond immediately and put together a string of impressive scores. Johnny McCaffrey, cleverly forward here as far as Oshin Goff. The cornerback is out around the half-back line at this stage. Worked in well and worked into David Tracy. Two points so far for Tracy. Can he get another? The answer is yes. 15 minutes to go. And the Dublin fans, I think, believe it is still possible. The impossible dream, maybe, at the beginning of this match. But Kilkenny will have their own answer. And Michael Rice making tracks. Lovely ball here for Comerford. A goal and four so far. And it's another one for Martin Comerford. Back of the net. The real danger man strikes in the 56th minute. A lovely ball played into him here. And Comerford on his way, lobbed it in past the goalkeeper. And it is now 2-16 to 15 points. Seven points between them. You do get the feeling, however, there's an awful lot more in Kilkenny if they need to up the ante. And that time, David Curtin gets uh, called for taking too many steps. That free by John Tennyson. Fumbled! Oh, TJ Reid had the shot! And the referee saw some holding, and it's a penalty. Henry Shefflin was held by the jersey as he was going to try and get the shot in and the referee saw it and awards a penalty to Kilkenny Michael Carton yellow carded for that as Henry Shefflin stands over it he's got five points from free so far and it's still five points as Dublin defend valiantly Larkin across oh missed there by Martin Comerford and Gary Maguire gets it away drama down in the goal mouth that was a good stop there, hit straight at Gary Maguire. In the immediate follow-up then, you had that ball flashed across the goal area by Owen Larkin and missed their inches by Martin Comerford. Final whistle goes. Kilkenny retained their Leinster title. But it's Anthony Daly and his team who will take many of the headlines tomorrow morning. Only six points between them at the finish. Full-time score here in Croke Park. It's Kilkenny, two goals and 18 points. Dublin, 18 points. Seamus Howland, the chairman of the Leinster Council, presents the Bob O'Keefe Cup to the Kilkenny captain. Didn't play today, but he is the captain, Michael Fennelly.